Right, so what you need is a uh, very cheap analog multimeter. Uh, you get some leads with that. Uh, well, we don't use them, so we'll get rid of them. Uh, you need a potentiometer. I think I'm using a 47k one there. And you need a screwdriver, an LED one, where when you touch the one end and the other end, the light comes on. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, take a look at the back of this. There's one screw of which I've already taken out. So you need to take that screw out. And as you do, you just get the back. Now, to look at this, what you've got is you've got a couple of leads that used to go to the board, all I've done is chop those off uh, there would have been a battery in there as well now, uh, now when you chop those off and you undo a screw which was there and another screw which was there a screw that was there and a screw that was there you can then pull this board off now uh, uh, there's a screw inside the uh, selector I've taken that off as well just uh, for ease of use so I can uh, show you quickly that the, uh, uh, the screw that would be in the centre of there as you take that off you can then have the knob which comes off geometer has uh, two washers and a nut if you grab one of the nuts, uh, one of the washers, sorry, and then just place it over the top. And then place this over the top. And then grab the other washer. And then put the nut on top of that. No, I'm just going to screw that nut up. Right, I've attached that with uh, just a normal pair of pliers uh, to use as leverage on that little nut there. So we've got it slightly to what side. And what we're going to do now is put one of these leads in the centre. And then uh, one of the other leads is going to go on one of the legs off here. I've been uh, hooking up my uh, little gas soldering on here. And what I'm going to do is the orange wire, or the lighter of the two usually. Because uh, I think the wire was uh, yellow on the other one. Uh, we're going to put it to the middle of the uh, potentiometer and we're going to take a black wire coming off the other one inside there there is a little uh, yellow band what we need to do is get the, uh, the pliers and to apply a little bit of pressure to them and pull, pull it out the little band is out of there uh, we should be able to just drop that out now uh, uh, we don't need the uh, mega ohm resistor <laughs> which is on the floor now I'll grab that in a second and uh, you'll find that this is an empty screwdriver we can now put the top back on the screwdriver and still use that you can even hide money in it but, uh, we've got the main module and hopefully when I touch top and bottom the light comes on that's brilliant so that's the module we want to keep and it's one that we're going to uh, start to put inside the uh, ion detector over here now fine with this little module is the uh, it's got two batteries in the top of it and a little green sticker if you take the green sticker off 
it gives you access to one of the LED legs and the other LED leg is actually connected to the top here. We've soldered the wire to that one side and the battery to the top. You can see that uh, uh, when we make continuity to it, to it, it will always uh, light up. Now this tricky one here is a, is a little window and we need to put the, uh, the blue wire from the coil going straight through and into it so get the uh, blue wire ready and that's going to go inside there I managed to uh, solder that wire directly into the NA so uh, all we need to do is take a another wire from this side to the negative of the battery and we should get the light coming on at the same time as getting the needle moving and we can uh, adjust that then with the uh, potentiometer I'll do that now to have had the uh, wires on the analog meter hooked up the wrong way that when I touch that it goes to negative as far as it can so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap the wires round in the uh, blue and the orange wire round seems to have cured this let's see if it uh, deflects the meter let's give it a bit more let's give it a bit less we can definitely get that to deflect the meter there that's brilliant so uh, we know now that uh, all we need to do is uh, take a, uh, an aerial off the side that has the LED on and a ground point off uh, the uh, orange side of which is the uh, negative to the battery or is it the positive? Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a negative. So I'll do that now. So I'm just going to take this apart now and uh, show you how to put the aerial on it. Take a couple of the batteries out and dismantle it. We have the uh, the aerial lead there that used to be, and we now have a nice little aerial of which we can use with our uh, ion scanner. Right, so I'm just going to make a uh, little hole in the top of here, ready for our aerial to come out of, and then uh, screw it in and solder it on. I'll show you it step by step. And we have now mounted the uh, the aerial. Quite clearly on there, and look okay, how we've got a soldering lug. So all we need to do now is solder it from here to the this side and then from this side just take a ground out that so uh, you can touch with your hand and then uh, it should be finished then. Solder this directly to the aerial now and uh, because that orange wire comes all the way down to here We've taken a red wire off here, of which we're going to take outside of the uh, the housing, and then uh, tape up with some aluminium uh, tape. You're definitely detecting ions there, and that's exactly how to uh, to do it. The, uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, please ask me, and. Uh, Please remember the uh, donate bar at the side. The uh, uh, it will help me do to uh, further log like, productions and uh, continue to do uh, good quality videos for you all to watch. And uh, thanks for watching.